Hey everyone, Professor Ackerman here, aka Chef Jeff. Uh, what I want to show you today is this website called circuit-diagram.org. Um, I really like this website for making quick circuit schematic diagrams. I keep running into this issue where when I look at a diagram like this and then I see, say, a breadboard schematic view like this that was probably created in something like Fritzing, um, I love these diagrams. I know they're not professional electrical diagrams, but they're just easy to use, easy to look at, very visual. Um, <clears throat> but fritzing is harder to find and use nowadays. And so I want to show you a way that you can use circuit-diagram.org to create really quick 2D circuit schematic diagrams that look pretty good for just for communicating your circuit design uh, to yourself in the future and other people. Um, so let's dive in here. Um, I'm going to show you an example of how you can use circuit-diagram.org. Uh, first off, we're going to go over to Editor right here. Awesome. So that presents this view right, right uh, in this window. Uh, what's really nice about this website is it'll, it has some pretty good component selection. It doesn't have everything, but a pretty good starting point. Um, and it's really easy to edit and add custom components. It's also in a web browser, which is pretty nice. So in this example, I'm going to start with an Arduino Uno. I'm going to bring that over here into my project view. Now when you're done placing that component, I just clicked on it and left clicked. I'm going to press uh, selection tool right up there, top left. And now I can move things around all that. Um, so that's looking good. I'm going to then add the NRF24 wireless module, the NRF24 L01. Um, this module has these pinouts right here. Um, and I'm going to you know try to replicate this. Now the problem is this particular component isn't in the library. Because if I search over here, NRF, uh, there's there's nothing here, right? It has a pretty limited component selection. But what is really cool about this software is you can just type in integrated circuit, integrated circuit two, um, any of these. So I'll look at maybe integrated circuit two, right? I grab that, I click it, and then I go back to my selection tool at the top right. And now I can drag this around, click on it, edit its properties. I'm going to call this the NRF 24L01 plus. Um, I'm going to specify the number of pins. I think I had seven pins, so I'm going to say there's eight there. Um, let's go ahead and look at what pinouts we have. So, yeah, I can look there or up here. That works. So I've got ground, VCC, CE, CSN, SCK, MOSI, MISO, IRQ. Um, I'm going to avoid using that one because I don't need it. It looks like I've got SPI communication. So uh, according to the wiring, I only need... Yeah, everything except that one pin. Cool. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, make this component. So it's ground VCC. Okay, ground VCC. I'm just going to say 3.3 volts because I know I want that. Um, what else? Uh, CE and CSN. CE, CSN. Looking good. Uh, SCK and MOSI, SCK, MOSI, and MISO and IRQ. Okay, cool. So we see them all right there. Ground, CE, SCK, MISO, VCC. Yep, that looks good. Cool. I'm going to leave all of the rest blank. Um, now I can click off that, and now I have a custom component. Um, and if you didn't have that in some other software, it would have taken quite a lot longer to create that custom component and then actually wire it into your circuit schematic. So that's really a big reason why I like this software. It allows very quick creation of custom components. Um, before we go any further, I'm just going to go ahead and sign in real quick. Oh, there we go. Yep, sweet. So I'm saved right there. I can go here and save this diagram. So I'll just call this test. I'll just call it NRF test. All right. Awesome. Cool. And now I can place this wherever I want. I guess I'll put it, <clears throat> let's put it right above it. That works. You click on the wire tool over here on the left. Now this part isn't as good as some other softwares where you can actually create a wire that is moving with the device. But despite that, um, 
I really, really like this just for quick, quick diagram stuff. All right, and now the pinouts, I'm just gonna go with their defaults in this example. <clears throat> so we've got VCC to 3.3, CE to nine, CSN to eight, CE to, boom. Okay, CSN to eight. Okay, we're getting there. SCK 13, MOSI to 11, and MISO to 12. So SCK to 13. Okay, MOSI to 11, and MISO to 12. All right, so we just go ahead and plug in our circuit, just like we're going to be creating it. Looks like I need a little bit more room there, so I'm going to go over here, move this guy down, move that over, just adjust the wires a little bit. Cool. Okay, just about there. Awesome. I'm just dragging them around to get them in the right spots. <clears throat> Very cool. So that should go to, I think, 12. Great, so there we go. I have a custom component wired up. Um, I'll leave that pin blank. And uh, I mean, that's pretty fast, right? Especially because this was not defined anywhere and uh, just allows really quick creation of custom components. Another example is, let's say I wanted to have this NRF24 transmit like joystick data from this Arduino, like a wireless remote. If I look up joystick, <coughs> doesn't exist. They do have potentiometers, right? So some basic potentiometers, um, and that would be fine. But a joystick is actually gonna look more like this because that's what we have in our Arduino kits when we're doing some prototyping, for example. Um, so ground, five volts, VRX, VRY, and switch. So for that one, I can do the same exact thing. Integrated circuit two. I'm gonna place this one down here. Go back up to selection tool. <clears throat> Again, label this custom component. I'm going to put six pins. We've got ground plus five volts. Okay, ground plus five volts. VRX. VR. Oh, oopsies. Go back in here. VRX, VRY and switch awesome all right nope oh, ground there we go awesome same deal i can just go ahead here and wire this ground up uh, i can wire plus five volts right over here that'll work oops i went too far there no biggie all right, and then VRX, I'm gonna put that into an analog pin, let's say a zero, for example. Oops, I have some straight wires down here. Just you could drag them and then delete. Go back to selection tool, VRY. Gonna put that on A1. Um, let's see, oh, I'm missing switch. Yep, there we go, switch. I'll just delete that text so I don't have any Put a space there instead. There we go. So I just put a space and then it deleted that pin. All right. And the switch, I'm gonna put it over to, uh, I don't know, I typically do switches on pin two, and then maybe we'll do an input pull up on the Arduino, for example. Um, and there we go. So I've got a joystick wired up, custom component. I've got NRF24 L01. And yes, it's a little bit difficult to adjust uh, some of these components because these wires, I have to physically move them. That's one downside of the software. Um, but beyond that, uh, I, I really like it. And so I wanted to let you know about it because it's a really pretty quick way to create 2D circuit schematics in a custom way. Um, when you're done, you can always go ahead and save. I already saved it into my profile, so I'll be able to go click open and then I can find that circuit later on, which is pretty handy and I can uh, download it in a couple different ways. Um, you know, I can download it in these other options that might give me more editing options later, but really just for maybe a, you know, kind of quick diagram. Oh, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and download it as a PNG image. 
or you could do it as SVG if you want vector graphics. If I download PNG, I go and take a look at this, and this is what it came up with. Zoom in, take a look. So uh, if we download it as SVG, it would look a little bit less uh, grainy because this is starting to look a little bit uh, grainy when you really zoom in there. So maybe SVG would be better. Depends on what your objective is here. Um, but for quick circuit diagrams, I think this is hard to beat. So hopefully that was helpful. This is circuit-diagram.org. Um, let me know what you think. And uh, good luck making circuits.